Hey everybody, it's Mark Povinelli, President of Little People of America. Hey everyone, it's October, so that means it's Dwarfism Awareness Month. Hello LPA community, my name is Danielle Frank and I am your Programs Director. Hey guys, it's Bryce Gellas, the Finance Director for Little People of America. My name is Ben Wika, I'm the Membership Director for LPA. Hi, I'm Ethan Crow, and it is Dwarfism Awareness Month. Hi everybody, it's Michelle, and I'm really excited to be talking with you in October on um, Dwarfism Awareness Month. Hi everyone, um, it's Cookies here, the PR Director of Little People America. Hey guys, it's October! Which means it is Dwarfism Awareness Month. Hi everyone, I'm Amy Rudd. My name is Jamani Swanson, aka Monty Love, YouTube sensation, internet sensation. Hi, I'm Annalise. Hey guys, it's Svea coming at you from my dorm room here at Boston College. What's up everyone, Keaton tonight here, back with another video. Hey there. I was nominated for the Barty Challenge by my good friend, Kaden tonight. Hey, it's Dwarfism Awareness Month. In case you weren't aware, I'm a dwarf. So, luckily October allows you to know that I am a dwarf through our Awareness Month. Hi, I'm Sarah Fulkins. I'm Alex Abe. And we're here to do the, the Barty Challenge. Challenge for Dwarfism Awareness Month 2018. We are at the beginning here of Dwarfism Awareness Month, October 2018. Hey everybody, this is Jake Brassfield. I'm here doing the Barty Challenge. I was nominated by my buddy Ben Wika uh, to do the Barty Challenge, which is a viral video campaign that Little People of America is doing for the month of October. Carol Trombino. And October is Dwarfism Awareness Month. Hello, everybody. I have been nominated for the Barty Challenge for Dwarfism Awareness Month. One of the great participants that we used to know was a guy named Billy Barty. And every year he'd have a golf uh, tournament. And so I'm going to hit this shot in memory of Billy Barty and Dwarfism Awareness Month. I'm Hype Renee. I'm going to hit my Billy Barty Challenge. Who's Billy Barty? Billy Barty started Little People of America. He is the founder of our organization. He was also an actor, he was an entertainer, and he fostered a community for us. What does dwarfism mean to me? It's the question we're asking. It means a few different things. It's definitely about educating our the community around us, our friends and family, and even strangers about who we are and what makes us so unique. But it's also about kind of celebration and celebrating our beautiful bodies and our uniqueness and what we can offer to this world and everything. I can do everything that the average size and other little people out there could do everything that the average size person could do. Some things better, some things difficult, but everything in this world of life is difficult. Nothing's supposed to be easy. Having to constantly adapt to a world that's not built for me and that always lets me to think of creative ways of thinking that I don't think um, my average peer share. Here is the brand new Mrs. Moore. We just got married last Saturday and we are very excited and happy. And uh, also our first step now has been to be living on our own for the first time, living uh, in an apartment where we're kind of making do with, with different modifications and things. And that's kind of where what uh, dwarfism awareness means to us is on social media we can kind of talk about how we're just trying to live normal uh, lives and just like anyone else uh, who doesn't have dwarfism and we are able to do that with different modifications. I give to LPA because of the many things that it's given to me over the years and also frankly I want it to be uh, around for my daughter as she gets older. Part of the dwarfism community is knowing kids with dwarfism because kids with dwarfism are incredibly strong, resilient, exuberant, smart, um, and so capable. Uh, this year, my piece of advice uh, to other, uh, to the younger generation of, of little people in the world is uh, be your own self-motivation. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what being a little person has taught me to do. It has taught me to never give up and that I can do the same thing as everybody else, except some things may be a little more challenging. To me, dwarfism means standing out from everyone else. Being a little person has allowed me to develop a strong sense of resilience and confidence, and 
being a member of Little People of America has allowed me to find amazing mentors um, and more importantly I've been able to find amazing friends that I know will be a part of my life for years and years and years to come. If you see someone else, my don't know there. My piece of advice is more geared towards uh, the parents of LPs is to not underestimate your child's ability and to really push them to go you know, above them and beyond, to be uh, the very best self that they can be. It's about crushing stereotypes and showing that we can live meaningful lives, have good jobs, good careers, good families. And that's what it's about to me. I want to make sure that kids growing up these days know that they don't have to do dumb circus jobs and bad things. They can live normal lives, get good educations, and go on to be good things. It also has opened up my eyes to the thousands of jobs um, opportunities that are out there. Um, we can be marketers, um, directors of operations, um, we can be actors, actresses, and we can also be firefighters. Heck, we can even be police officers for that matter. I mean, there's just no limits to being small. I'm married to a little person. Um, I'm involved in all aspects of Little People of America, the Dorf Athletic Association, I um, have short arms, so this selfie video may not be working out that good. To me, it's about being a part of an amazing community that I feel is equally important for everyone. Those with dwarfism and average height parents, spouses, partners, children, siblings, grandparents, and friends. I would consider this community my extended family. A group of people you see a few times a year, but whenever you see them, the time spent together is always enjoyable. Before I became a part of the dwarfism community, specifically LPA, I don't think I fully accepted my dwarfism. But once I became part of the, the organization, I met so many wonderful people in the community. It means being real, that sometimes living in a body with dwarfism is hard. Dwarfism is about being authentic all of the time. I know that when I go out into the public, Outside of my home, I'm often first noticed for my physical stature before anything else, and I'm okay with that. Dwarfism has taught me about grit and about adversity, and I'm very much aware that no matter what life throws at me, I'm going to be A-OK -okay because of those two things, and that's all because of my dwarfism. I think that without it, I wouldn't be so headstrong on acceptance and um, you know, really making other people like aware of differences and not just dwarfism, but like, you know, we, we all should just be accepting of everyone. We should all just love everyone. Having a sense of pride, not only in yourself, but in the community that we're both so fortunate to be a part of and spreading awareness about the people I love and how successful they are and how incredible this community is and that there's nothing wrong with taking pride in it and being proud of who you are and just the way you were born because you're beautiful. In keeping with our branding, which is green, I'm going to finish off uh, this with a green smoothie comprised of spinach, kale, and broccoli. See how awesome LPA is? You know what? I'm pretty much just like everybody else. I make videos like everybody else. I ride my bike like everybody else. I make videos while riding my bike like everybody else. Oh. 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 Dwarf is pretty cool. Now, challenging you guys. Darius, this is this year's party challenge. Okay. What does dwarfism mean to you? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs>